Hey everybody, it's Mother Ann Schneer from Trinity Church in Marshall. It's nine o'clock, so it's time to wrap up the day. Um, I don't really have a lot of announcements, but I do want to thank everybody who joined us for the eight o'clock and the 10 o'clock services this morning by a live stream. Uh, I will be getting those up on YouTube uh, probably tonight or tomorrow. Um, and not longer than that, because I'm getting better at uh, learning how to even do that. So that's a, all this, uh, is completely new to me, so um, I'm learning as I go, and I thank you for your patience also. Um, so uh, for tonight, uh, we have our prayers. Uh, we're praying for Chris, Doug, Ben, Terry. Oh, and I'm looking at the wrong list, but they're the same first neighbors, uh, 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 names. Chris, Doug, Ben, and Terry. We're praying for the residents of Meta Lodge, which is also known as Tender Care. Praying for Frank and Allison, Carl and Sarah, Mike and Carla, Bill, William, Anna, Sophia, Liam, and Lillian. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for the gift of the human family. We give you thanks for all of the, the goodness that you have poured out onto us. We give you thanks for the 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 ties that bind us together, even though we are physically separated. We ask that you be with the people that we just mentioned, uh, and especially with all those who are sick and for those who are caring for them. We ask that you remind all of us of our connection to each other and of the love that you continuously pour out on us. We ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, I also uh, want to give a shout out to those who commented last night, uh, to Jan, Debbie, Pat, Paula, Sharon, Noreen, Don, Joyce, Jim, and Marianne. Thank you so much for tuning in and for letting me know that you're here, that I'm not just doing this like in a bubble all by myself. Uh, I appreciate you letting me know that you're here. That's uh, really important. Uh, I want to remind everybody to pick up your palms. I uh, put those on the back porch about 3.30 this afternoon uh, after my Sunday afternoon nap. So um, uh, those are ready to be picked up. Both the palm uh, long um, skinny branches and there are crosses there available as well. Uh, they're right next to the box of hymnals and prayer books. So uh, please feel free to, to uh, come and pick some up uh, so that you can have them for Palm Sunday, uh, which we will have uh, as our normal scheduled service You know, at, at that normal time. We'll just be doing it via live stream again at 8 o'clock and at 10 o'clock. Um, tonight, the, the hymn that I've picked out is Abide With Me. It seems like a very nice hymn to end the day. Uh, a couple of people have sent in some requests. Uh, some of them I need to find the music for because they're not in the Episcopal hymnal, uh, but you can find just about anything these days uh, online. I just need a little more time to do that. Uh, and if you decide that you want to request a song or a hymn, um, let me know. Absolutely. Um, if I don't know it, I'll need a couple days to learn it. But if I do, and especially if it's in the hymnal, we can certainly do that because uh, it looks like we'll be doing this for a while. So um, uh, the hymn tonight is Abide With Me, which is on page 662. There is my fancy backwards writing. 662 and the hymn again is abide with me abide with me fast falls the eventide the darkness deepens lord with me Tempter's power. 
myself my guide and stay can be through cloud and sunshine lord abide with me i fear no foe with thee at hand to bless ills have no weight and tears no bitterness where is death's sting where grave thy victory i triumph still if thou abide with me hold thou thy cross before my closing eyes shine through the gloom and point to me the skies heaven's morning breaks and earth's vain shadows flee in life in death o lord abide with me it strikes me that this is one of those examples of us praying for things that are already happening we pray for God to abide with us, to stay with us, uh, but God really is already staying with us. God is here. Sometimes as we pray these things, uh, what God gives us instead is eyes to see what's already happening. So I pray that you see God tonight. I pray that you experience God's presence with you and remember that God loves you. And I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.